Greetings from the President of the Seoul Human Resource Development Center. 모두 반갑습니다. 서울특별시 인재개발원 원장 윤영철입니다. 서울특별시 인재개발은 외국 도시 공무원 온라인 국제 연수에 참여해 주신 연수생 여러분께 먼저 감사의 말씀을 드립니다. 올초 코로나19 감염증 확산은 누구도 예상할 수 없었던 일로서 서울특별시 인재개발은 역시 여러분들의 안전을 위해 예정되었던 외국 도시 공무원 초청 연수를 중단할 수밖에 없었던 점 양해 부탁드립니다. 아쉽게도 교육을 진행하는 이 시간에도 코로나19 확산은 멈추지 않고 있습니다. 팬데믹은 우리의 일상을 바꾸고 있습니다. 재택근무가 활성화되고 온라인 전시를 관람하는 등 사회 전반의 비대면 방식의 활동이 확산되고 있음을 쉽게 확인할 수 있습니다. 서울특별시 인재개발원에서도 이러한 사회적 변화에 대응하여 올해는 국내 공무원 교육훈련은 물론 해외도시 공무원 국제연수 모두를 IT를 활용한 비대면 방식으로 추진하고 있습니다. 기존의 집합교육과 현장 변화가 지수되어 아쉽기는 하지만 시대적 요구와 흐름에 부응하며 위기 속에서 새로운 기회를 찾을 수 있을 것이라 생각합니다. 시간 안배가 자유로운 이러닝 교육의 특성을 10분 활용하여 여러분께서 이루고자 하는 목표를 정하고 계획을 알차게 세워 많은 배움을 얻어갈 수 있는 기회가 되길 희망합니다. 이와 마찬가지로 여러분 도시의 도시 문제 해결 경험도 저에게 공유해 주실 수 있는 상호 교류의 시간이 되길 기원합니다. 여러분 모두에게 알찬 교육기간이 될수 있도록 과정장을 비롯한 인재개발원 직원 모두가 교육기간 동안 최선을 다할 것입니다. 혹시 교육기간 중에 불편한 사항이나 건의사항이 있으면 언제든지 이야기해 주시기 바랍니다. 지금도 각자의 도시에서 코로나19 감염증 확산을 제재하기 위해 최선을 다하고 계시는 여러분의 노고에 다시 한번 감사드리며 각자 계신 곳에서 건강과 안전에 항상 유의하시기 바랍니다. 다시 한번 인재개발원 전 직원과 함께 환영과 축하의 말씀을 드립니다. 감사합니다. About Seoul. Seoul, the capital of the Republic of Korea, is the metropolitan city that has been serving as Korea's political, economical, social, and cultural center with area of 605 square kilometers and more than 10 million citizens. The Seoul mayor and heads of 25 autonomous districts are all elected by citizens. Based on the fundamental philosophy of the local government system, city affairs are handled considering the demands of the citizen as priority. The city is geographically mountainous area with the Han River running across northern and southern part of Seoul with 481 km length and 1 km width. The northern part of Seoul, Gangbuk, is a harmonious area with the past and the present. The Hanyang Wall, Gyeongbuk Palace, as tradition, an enterprise and the Blue House and the City Hall are all located harmoniously. The southern part of Seoul, Gangnam, is the area where Seoul Human Resource Development Center is located. Gangnam has been developed as the new dynamic for economical, transportation, education, and cultural center since the 1980s and serves as the epicenter of the Korean wave hiding. About Seoul Metropolitan Government, Seoul's Emblem. This emblem was adopted in 1996 after citizen participation. The emblem features the visual standard in Seoul and serves as the essential part of Seoul city identity. It features the shape of a mountain, the sun, and the Hangang River with the general design depicting the figure of a joyful human being, thus representing Seoul as a human-oriented city. Encompassing image of nature, humanity, and the city, the green mountain signifies respect for the environment, the blue Hangang River represents history and vitality, and the sun in the center symbolizes the city's vision of the future. These three elements are organically connected by being depicted as the strokes of a brush, visualizing an image of Seoul's dynamic energy. Seoul's Brand Seoul's brand I Seoul U was developed by the citizens' participation in 2015 and has been used as the city's brand since then. 
Between you and I, among citizens and among people all around the world, Seoul is at the center of all relationships. Seoul is a city where all diverse and disparate elements coexist in harmony. Seoul's administrative slogan. The slogan is, together with our citizens, together with the world. It contains the Seoul Metropolitan Government's promise to work with the Seoul citizens, who are both the main agents and partners of the administration, and its will to become a global city through exchange and cooperation with the world. Seoul Metropolitan Government Organization There are approximately 17,000 officials in Seoul city government and approximately 34,000 officials working for autonomous district offices. Under the Seoul mayor, there are three vice mayors with diverse departments for working on Seoul's administration. As part of Seoul Metropolitan Government, Seoul Human Resource Development Center provides domestic training for Seoul government officials and international training for foreign city officials. In addition, the Seoul City Council truly serves as a solid partner of Seoul City Administration. Based on the principle of check and balance, the Seoul City Council, composed of 110 representatives of Seoul citizens, enacts ordinances of the SMG, determines important policies related to interests of citizens, and carries out administrative audits. Lastly, 25 autonomous district unfold policies that focus on the demands of citizens in each district so that blind spot of policy is minimized with the cooperation and interaction between the Seoul Metropolitan Government and autonomous districts. Seoul's Budget This year, Seoul Metropolitan Government budget is approximately 35 trillion Korean won, including general account and special account. As you can see, social welfare area, which closely support the lives of people, takes up the most part as 36.5%. In addition, Seoul Metropolitan Government strives to provide safety environment, sustainable development, and enhanced urban transportation infrastructure. About Seoul Human Resource Development Center the Seoul Human Resource Development Center was established in 1962 as the educational training organization for Seoul city officials under the Seoul Metropolitan Government. In 1979, the institute has relocated itself in Gangnam, southern part of Seoul, and changed its name to Seoul Human Resource Development Center. The international training for foreign city officials began in 2008 for the first time and the center was successfully nominated as the headquarters of the Metropolis International Training Institute in 2012. Since the official opening of the MITI in 2014, more than 200 foreign city officials are taking the SHRDC training programs every year. Seoul Human Resource Development Center aims to educate and train future-oriented professionals who serve and communicate with citizens. Based on citizen-centered administrative philosophy, SHRDC strives to spread organizational culture to make employees happy, strengthen professional competence to achieve performance, and develop capacities to proactively respond to future changes. SHRDC is composed of 14 teams, 3 divisions with 105 employees. The Human Resource Planning Division leads overall work of SHRDC, including research and development of educational program. The Human Resource Management Division manages on education programs, and the Human Resource Recruit Division operates on recruitment of city officials. The budget for 2020 SHRDC is approximately 16 billion Korean won. The total area of SHRDC is 283,779 square meters, including main building, multi-purpose building, sports field, and dormitory. The main building has three office areas for each division, auditoriums, multimedia room, and many lecture rooms. The yellow multi-purpose building is the venue for international training, where lecture rooms and auditoriums are located to provide different types of educational purposes. 
Also, SHRDC has a dormitory where recruitment examination evaluators stay, and cafeterias, library, and other amenities. Major training courses. Non-contact training innovation in response to COVID-19. In order to proactively provide non-contact training during the post-COVID-19 era, SHRDC is implementing non-contact training. With the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic, non-contact activities spread combined with the demand increased across the society. Under the fast-changing trend, SHRDC is to serve the role of training institution uninterruptedly for public officials by utilizing the outstanding ICT technologies. By 2022, the center aims to expand the percentage of real-time online training up to 50%, regardless of whether the COVID-19 will come to an end or not. In the event of an emergency, collective learning will be operated as remote distance training mode. Domestic training programs. Seoul Human Resource Development Center is responsible for providing educational training for city officials as well as 25 autonomous districts. The Seoul Human Resource Development Center provides five training courses including basic training, leadership training, job training, public confidence training, and IT training. As of January 2020, the SHRDC has designed to provide a total of 279 training courses for 209,961 officials. Looking into the details, 131 offline courses for 29,901 trainees and 148 e-learning courses for 180,060 officials were to be delivered. However, due to the outbreak of COVID-19, in the first half of 2020, the center was only able to conduct five core offline courses for newly hired employees and officials who were promoted. As of July 2020, 1,565 public officials were able to take offline training courses. In the second half of this year, from July to December, it is highly likely that we will not be able to provide offline courses due to the spread of the virus. Therefore, we plan to design 62 on-tech courses, including remote learning and e-learning, for 12,046 prospective trainees. Recruitment and Promotion Exams the Seoul Human Resource Development Center conducts official examination for recruitment for Grade 7 and Grade 9, recruitment of experienced officials including term-based experts, and promotional exams for Grade 4 and Grade 5. The recruitment procedure is as follows. Open job announcement, application period, written test, personality and aptitude test, interview, announcement of accepted candidates. This year, more than 33,000 new officials to be employed. City officials who are eligible for capacity training need to take online and offline courses in advance and take promotional examination. This year, the center has a schedule for 15 promotion examinations for 750 employees who are subject to promotion. International training programs. To share good policies with foreign cities and benchmark good cases, Seoul Human Resource Development Center opens international training for foreign city officials every year, including but not limited to the following themes. Smart city, transportation, and climate change. Generally, the training is invitation-based, so selected foreign city officials come to Seoul to listen to lectures and pay site visits. However, invitation-based international training programs have stopped temporarily due to the outbreak of COVID-19. Against this backdrop, SHRDC has initiated and implemented online-based training for the first time. Also, Seoul Human Resource Development Center took over the headquarters of Metropolis International Training Institute, which is an organization for member cities with over 10 million citizens in 2012. 
Since then, as the headquarters of METI, SHRDC has been serving a role for exchanging human resources and enhancing network among member cities. Furthermore, in cooperation with three regional branches in Cairo, Mashhad, and Mexico City, SHRDC is striving its best efforts to play its pivotal role to enhance capacity for local government officials and promote international cooperation. In 2020, 19 international training courses were originally scheduled, including International Forum in October. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, no offline training program was able to be held since February. In order to provide continuous training for foreign city officials, we plan to provide online courses in the second half of this year. We have conducted detailed survey and designed courses for online course. Offline lectures will be transferred to self-directed learning with online video clips, and discussions with lecturers will be changed to written reports and feedback. This year, we scheduled to operate three international training courses, Bangkok HRD program, Smart City program for Cairo and Mexico City. For those who are taking the courses, please visit our website at the relevant period of time and take courses according to the guide your course manager provides. If you are interested in other policies in Seoul Metropolitan Government, please visit SHRDC MOOC website which is always open for you. There are more than 40 video clips which will be able to answer to your questions regarding the policies in Seoul. Lastly, if you also visit Metropolis and or SHRDC website, there are abundant information waiting for you. Amid very short training period of time, I hope that this will be a productive time for you to resolve issues that your cities face. Thank you.